What's up YouTube, this is Cody here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be giving you guys a quick look at iOS 7. Now keep in mind I'll have a video for every particular feature so this is going to be a quick overview but if you want a more detailed look at a specific feature then go ahead and check out my other videos in the description below or on my channel. Now if we go ahead and unlock the device you'll notice a completely redesigned home screen with a transparent status bar, new dots for the signal bar, and brand new redesigned app icons for the stock apps. Now another great thing about the icons is the parallax effect. If I move my device around it gives an effect that the icons are just floating and you can actually see behind the icons and it's actually pretty cool. So the first thing that you'll notice on the redesigned lock screen, there's no longer a slider so you can slide absolutely anywhere on the lock screen to unlock the device. Now you'll also see that the camera grabber has moved just a little bit to the very corner of the lock screen. And if you don't open it all the way up, you get this nice little bounce response when it closes back down on the lock screen. It's got some gravity to it. So if we go ahead and jump into the settings here and go to the brightness and wallpaper, they're now dynamic wallpapers. So if I go into them here, they're actually all the same but just different colors. So you can see the dots in the background moving around and it works on your home screen and on your springboard. So next up is the control center which is accessible from the home screen, the lock screen, and within an app. All you have to do is just slide up from the bottom of the screen just like that and you get this transparent overlay and you can tell there's a high level of detail and a lot of thought that went into this. You have some toggles and brightness slider up at the top and below that is your music controls and then your airdrop and airplay toggles. Then at the very bottom you have your quick access apps like your flashlight and your calculator. Now next we'll go into the app switcher just by double pressing on the home button and you'll notice this all new card based interface and you can get a preview of the app here with the app icon right below it. And to close an application all you have to do is swipe up and you can also do that with two or three apps at a time using two or three fingers just like that. If we go back to the springboard and open up the camera, you can see a brand new interface that allows you to swipe left or right to change it from photo, video, square photo, or panorama. And you also have real time filters if you tap this little button in the right hand corner, it's going to give you a preview of the picture using that filter. Now pulling down the notification center you can see it now has three tabs, your today, all and miss tabs. Now these tabs are pretty much self-explanatory but the today tab will give you your current weather, your calendar events, reminders and your all tab is going to be all your alerts within the last 24 hours and of course your miss tab is actually going to be all your alerts within the 24 hours that you've missed. Now the notification center is actually accessible from the lock screen as well just like the control center. So let's go back to the springboard here and we'll jump into the Safari app and you have this all new full screen interface with new UI for tabs so you can see here if I open up the tabs you can actually slide to close an app just slide to the left and it closes that tab and to open up a tab all you have to do is just tap on it and you also have a smart search field instead of a search bar and a URL bar so now they're one in the same so you can type in a search or a URL address and it's going to work now if we go ahead and open up Siri you can see her brand new interface you have multiple new voice commands here as well as integrated Bing searches and Wikipedia. Now if we go into the music app you'll see a new UI for your artist tab. And the now playing page just got a little bit of a makeover as well with all options and controls at the bottom with the album art at the top. Also if we go back here you can see that there is a new tab down here at the bottom in the toolbar and that's iTunes radio and it's a lot like Pandora but you can see here up at the top that there are featured stations and you can also create and save your own stations down here at the bottom. Now let's go back to the lock screen here and if we look at the now playing widget from the lock screen you can see there's a scrubber up here at the top as well so you can jump to a certain point in the song if you'd like. So let's go ahead and unlock the device again and let's take a quick look at some of the other stock apps. So if we go into the weather app here you have a completely new UI with actually a new view right here and it looks really nice. And the app store here looks a lot different and has a new near me feature that you can see in the center of the toolbar at the bottom and if you tap on that it actually populates which apps are popular in that area that you're in and you can download those directly from this screen. Now going into the calculator you can see it was redesigned as well with a brand new flat look. 
and the stock apps have changed its color scheme from blue to black and it has a very appealing flat look. Now if you want to see a more in-depth look at all the features and more, be sure to check out our channel and subscribe. Also you'll be able to check out the links in the description below. So let me know what you guys think about iOS 7. Are you happy with all the changes? Let me know in the comments below. Alright guys, until next time, this is Cody with iPhoneHacks.com.